This video is brought to you by Kaiser Knives. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. I just got my latest battle box. So we're gonna unbox it here on camera and uh, see what's inside, let's do it. I don't know if you can hear the wind kicking up, but it is, uh, all of a sudden it just like took off about probably 20 minutes ago, half an hour ago. Anyhow, item number one valued at $11 is this, the complete guide to wild edible plants. Wild edible plants, edible wild plants, word order make no difference, does not much. First thing I like about a guide like this is color photos. I'd like to see the photos a little bit better quality, honestly. But color photos for me are way better in a um, in a book like this as opposed to like little black and white sketches. Um, I like the Peterson's guides for various things, but I don't like the fact that they put a lot of the photos like in the center section. They have to kind of flip around. I like to be able to open up and look and be like, okay, sugar palm. There, there's a picture of the sugar palm. Next item, that's a picture of it. So yeah, this is um, you can see Department of the Army. It's published uh, in New York by Sky Horse Publishing. Some people want to know in case they want to buy another copy or something like that. So first item for the Bushcraft Mission 44, and this is valued at $11. Item number two is this, and these are called either Chaga or Chega Chunks. And I never heard of these before, but here's what it says. Um, so it's called the King of Medicinal, Medicinal Mushrooms. It can be found on the outside of birch trees. It can be a fire starter, and it also has benefits such as immune system stimulant, inflammation reducer, and helps to bring normal cholesterol and blood pressure levels. So... Yeah, that's something totally new to me. Let me take one of these out and just show you what it actually looks like. And you know, it's one of those things where when you see it, you're like, oh yeah, I feel like I have seen that on the outside of birch trees, but they're saying the value for this is seven bucks. So they had to, you know, forage these or gather these. So that's your second item in your uh, bushcraft, bushcraft mission number, what are we, 44? No, mission number 44. All right, so this is kind of cool because later on tonight, I'm gonna be working on a video about Wazoo survival gear and just why I like the stuff that they put out. Um, and this is a new item from this, from them, and it's a foraging bandana. So let me show you what it looks like. Just got a ton of pictures of different types of edible plants, probably medicinal plant, plants too, yeah. Yeah, and it's got the little symbols next to it. So you can see in the middle, like, fire starter carbohydrates, calories, protein, you can eat raw, do not eat. And then next to the plant, it has the little symbol so like this is edible and it's got an exclamation point which means caution so yeah it's a, uh, a cool way to uh, supplement the edible edible wild plants book and this is let me just step back and show you what it looks like so that's cool wazoo they just get it I just like those guys I just like what they're doing I like the quality of the stuff they put out and uh, I'm glad battle box is partnered with them because they just make cool gear and that's the first I've seen that so that is that is gonna be valued at $11, and it's the Wazoo Foraging Bandana. Next up, valued at eight bucks, is the Wild Cards All Ages Edible Wild Foods. So basically it's a, so I'll say, read to you what it says on the back. Regular deck with playing cards with 52 common wild edible foods, plants, and their uses. So here's your deck of cards. It does come with a little chain here that you put through that hole right there, up there in the corner. But you can see there's Yarrow. There's the Yarrow card, and then on the back, it's got all the information about it. And then let me just pull, pull another one out. Here's mallow, which you may not know, but that's the original source of marshmallow. Uh, let's see, here's another one. Chicory, which we have all around the place, all around here in New England. So again, uh, the picture on the front and then information on the back. Also on the front, you can see it shows down here the range where you can find it in the United States. So that's awesome. That's just a cool way to, um, I've got a thing like this from, Ultimate Survival Technologies that I keep in my wallet and it's a way to work on, um, I'm just putting the chain here through the corner. It's a way to work on knots. So you're just sitting around, you know, wasting some time, get it, get a piece of uh, paracord and you can work on knots. So a similar type thing, you can learn your, uh, learn your edible plants. That's cool. I'm actually working on a bushcraft bag, video on that coming soon, modern bushcraft bag. And I'm probably gonna put these, uh, these in there as well. All right, these next two things valued at $1.99 each. And this is kind of cool, so, if you checked out my video in, um, in where was I, Nevada before SHOT Show, I ate some scorpions out of a can, but I also got some things like this too. So I have um, crickets, these are salt and vinegar, and then larvae, larvettes, original worm snacks, Mexican spice. 
My daughter, who's eight, actually really liked the um, ranch-flavored crickets I, I gave her. So we'll give her, a, give her a chance to try these and these as well. So these are valued at two bucks each. And that is, yeah, that's the end at the basic level for this month's Battle Box. Your next two items are valued at $40 for the knife and I think it's $25 for this pouch. So this is from Lord and Field and they're calling this the uh, Farmhand Knife. So that's a really cool little, uh, cool little blade. Is this a, yeah, it's a lockback or back lock, I should say. So it looks like it's uh, some sort of micarta there. Cool blade. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of classic, old school, bushcrafty type of uh, type of thing. And then you get this canvas trail bag as well, which folds up like this small, and then you can open it up. And, you know, this is for foraging, collecting things, whatever it might be. And it opens up to be that big. And then you can fold this over like so and put it on a belt. And then you got to pull, oh, oops, dropped it. You got to draw cord there and then you slide that little leaf down slide that little leaf down to kind of keep it cinched that's cool that's really cool I have never heard of Lord and Field so as a company um, the uh, the knife came in this little uh, this little container here at the pro level you're gonna get a Mora and this is the 511 knife so I mean again if you don't know if you're not familiar with Mora as far as bushcrafting I'm telling you they're a great knife Good steel, very solidly made. I've never broken one. I've used them very aggressively. This has got that nice guard there for some aggressive use. It is a pretty, um, I'll see if I can give you something else to tap it against here. Kind of a plastic, hard, hard plastic um, handle. But I love my more knives. I've got a bunch of these. So that's one item and that's valued at $9.99. And then the other one is this, which is a log carrier. And this is valued at 50 bucks, and I can already tell you pretty confidently, this is gonna be one of those, I don't know, controversial, but one of those items like somebody's gonna be like, why did I want a log carrier? I get it. Um, am I gonna use this all the time? I don't have a wood stove or a fireplace in my house, but I will use this out at the Bushcraft Base Camp. That's what it looks like. To haul some logs. Folds up pretty, pretty compact. You could throw it in a backpack like that. And this is, um, I think this said, let me just double check, this is, Wax canvas rugged twill log carrier. Their value again is $49.95 for this. So it's, it's a cool item. I'm not gonna use this as much as some of the other, other items, but it is very bushcrafty, I would definitely say that. All right, at the Pro Plus level, which is the Knife of the Month Club, you're gonna get this, which is a pretty cool looking knife. So let me tell you the information. This is the Koodman Knives MT5U, which they say is a brand new model. Uh, includes high-vis liners, micarta scales, and N695 Bowler Steel includes leather sheath made in Spain valued at $129.99. So let me show you the, uh, here's the sheath. I like that red on the, I guess that's probably a, maybe a dark brown and maybe a black, but it's kind of a cool look there. And you can see, you can run your belt through here. And then you can also attach it to other gear with that. You got some cordage. Hook, hook and loop, hook and loop. So lots of different ways to attach this to um, to a pack or however you want to carry it. And let's take a look at the knife here. Let's clean some of the leather pieces off of it. So there's a look at your knife. High vis liners, full tang. Looks like it's probably looks like the handle looks like it's a quarter inch and then thins out maybe a little bit. Maybe it's three sixteenths when you get down to the actual to the blade. And a little bit of jimping there. I would call that I'll call that pretty aggressive. So be careful, don't beat your hand up too much. It is definitely it. It feels like a bushcraft knife to me because the handle is beefy. It's thick. Sometimes you get a, a bushcraft knife; it's just too thin, and then you're constantly readjusting your hand. That feels good in my hand. I've got large size hands. If it's just about right, maybe a, a tiny bit longer would be ideal for me. But I think that's really uh, that's really nice. And then. It says Koodman and then N695 Bowler on the front. All right, so there's your quick rundown of your gear. Or let's just kind of give you an overview here. So one, two, three knives if you get it at the Pro Plus level. Um, the Edible Wild Plants book. Let me grab that real quick. Edible Wild Plants book. Um, the cards. I, I love little things like that, like the, uh, the cards or simple ways to like learn skills while you're out and about doing stuff that doesn't involve carrying a ton of extra stuff. 
Um, I like the little wax bag. Like I said before, I think the the, the um, wax, what is it called? Let me give you the official name here. The wax canvas log carrier, carrier. I'll use that less, but I'll keep that out at my bushcraft base camp so I can haul stuff around. I was checking out the uh, the Ready Man feed or the Ready Man live show on YouTube. It was like probably maybe a week ago, a little bit less than a week ago. And it was like debunking everyday carry myths. And they were talking about Battle Box because they were using Battle Box as the example. Um, and I know those guys, they partner up, they do things together, so they like each other. Um, but one thing they said that I agree with was, well, they said a bunch of things that I agree with, but in particular about Battle Box, um, they said that Battle Box finds gear that they didn't know about. And so, yeah, I mean, that's one thing I like. Again, as a reviewer, I get the box for free. I get to check it out and let you guys know about it. Um, one thing that's cool is that if you aren't ready to subscribe to Battle Box at a high level or even at all, you can sometimes buy the individual items from Battle Box, go over to their website, and you can purchase some of the individual items. Sometimes they have extras, sometimes they don't, but that's another cool thing. You can find out about gear, and then you can actually purchase it from them. All right, so that's pretty much it. I wanted to let you know about what was in this month's Battle Box and get this video done pretty quickly. I would say my favorite item from this box is this knife right here. I feel it, hawk, hawk bill? I think that's what it's called. Horn bill? I think it's a hawk bill style knife. I don't own any like that. So I like this kind of old school classic looking knife. A little hole there for a lanyard. So I am, like I said, I'm actually building a, um, a new bush, or I'm, I'm re-upping. I've got like a, you know, a version 5.0 of my bushcraft bag and uh, I'm going to put this in. Put this in as the folding knife. I think I had an open L in there before, but I'm going to add this one in. Cool little, uh, cool looking knife, Lord and Field. Not familiar with those guys, but this is, this is my favorite item from this month's, uh, this month's battle box. As always, let's hear from you in the comment section. What do you like? What would you change? Um, and then just thoughts on subscription boxes. I know people have their opinions, but it's always good to get that discussion going. Um, I've had some people recently ask me about selling some of my gear from Battle Box, like past Battle Boxes, if I'm not going to use it. Um, so a lot of the stuff I end up just giving away. Sometimes I'll like put a bunch of gear together, build a kit, and then sell it. So check on my Facebook page. Uh, that's probably the most popular place for me to, uh, to promote gear and let people know that I'm selling stuff. So, um, but uh, quite a bit of it, I would say, you know, 75% of it I end up keeping or giving, giving away to friends who have, uh, you know, different needs or different things than they may be interested in. So let's hear from you guys in the comment section, what you think about the, uh, this month's battle box, get the conversation started there. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to everyday tactical vids. If you haven't done so already, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.